Daily Dose. My name is Robert here with my pal and fellow Yaks uh, board member, Amy. And we had this great conversation about what are your five island films? The films you go to on for whatever emotional reason, you know, if you're sad, depressed, you, maybe if you're happy, whatever it is. But these films, for whatever reason, you keep going back to. They're saying something to you, which is, you know, the basis of this cinema therapy thing we're doing. So why don't you lead off? Give, give me one or two, whatever, any you got, uh, your island films. Okay, let's see. Um, I can think of one, two, three, three or four of them. Um, Go ahead. Uh, um, uh, the Ghost in Mrs. Muir uh, with Rex Harrison. Love to watch that on a cold, rainy day. Um, True Grit. Always, always, always. Big uh, Glenn Campbell fan, uh, John Wayne incredibly gorgeous film just beautiful and the music gets me um i like uh the movie called the dish mm -hmm. it's uh not well known but it's it's really charming and quirky and and funny and there's this otherworldliness the the exploration inviting the australians into this international thing does any of that speak to you i mean why why the dish you think I guess it's just in the sense that it's really charming, you know, and it's, and it's quirky and, and I, I just, I just like it. And I am a, a space fan. Um, I Blade Runner is one of my other absolute favorite films. Um, I, it's hard to, to, it's hard to explain why. <laughs> but sci-fi in general, because you're a Trekkie as well. Um, yeah. I love Star Trek. Yeah, so sci-fi speaks to you as a genre, and then specific, uh, and, and not all those were, but I just mean yeah, that, not that all of them because I definitely don't like uh, horror films. Like I, I just don't like to watch Alien. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna watch it. So, um, and you know, I know there's a bunch of other films, but that. But that's a good list because, you know, it's diverse. And the question being then is to say, what is it about these films? You know, you look at the genre, you look at the actors, you look at the themes. What is it saying to me? Because uh, you watch them, like you said, repeatedly, even though you know what's going to happen. And you keep, do you have that feeling where you find something new or you hear something different depending on when and how you see it? Yes. And I think I've thought about why, why is it that, I like to watch these particular why why does it get to me and that it's hard to define because i think and as a person who's worked in film i think it's because it's the way the whole production comes together there you go the music the scenery the lighting the acting the the everything the so you see everything. and can admire craftsmanship yeah that's what i see in these films definitely um, they just there's something special about them that if you like a lot of times I'll, I'll, sometimes people will criticize a film and I'll go yeah it wasn't you know this wasn't great you know in, in this sense but production wise they did a good job putting it together you know that's a great point there's no one right way to see a film Right. I mean, the film is the film and and the directors, producers, they intend one thing, but whatever the audience does with it is what the audience does with it. Yeah. And, you know, the, the most honest of them and, a, a, you know, rereading Frank Darabont's shooting script for Shawshank, one of my favorite things, he says repeatedly, you just don't know what you have until you get it in front of the audience. And they tell you pretty quickly <laughs> that scene you loved better lose it. Uh, the one you weren't sure about that they love. Okay. I guess that's the biggest deal there was. I mean, even, even the people who put it together don't know. Right. And when you're working on a film, I, as I have done, you don't know if it's going to be a hit and you always get that question that people are like, did you know this was going to be? <laughs> no. And I, you know, and there's, uh, yeah, there's several of them that I think about uh, a friend runs a, a movie by the minute podcast. He does, he's done a few movies and he, He's interviewed me for some of them. And the one he's doing right now is another favorite film, which is October Sky. Mm -hmm. And to listen to some of the interviews on there, and they just had the screenplay writer. Y y yeah, you don't know. They didn't know at all. This is this little film that they're making and didn't know the impact. But my God, it has such impact, that film has. So... Hey. 
and that's it, right? I mean, to me, resonance is the greatest mark of um, artistic greatness. That's just my personal definition. You know, it's not the, oh my God, was I so entertained in the moment? It's, did it make me think and feel as I continued to grow? And does it kind of grow with me? Does it hit enough humanity, enough universality to where I go, oh my gosh, this was more than I thought it was. And, and frankly, Shawshank is one of those movies for me because I really liked it when I first saw it. I was kind of surprised as I continued to watch it that I kept finding more and kept relating to it. So, you know, that's why, you know, it's number one on my island list because Andy uh, is me uh, in so many ways and uh, I dream to be him, uh, you know, raising my hand at the rain. <laughs> Definitely a lot there to, to explore. I mean, that's what it's like for a lot of Star Wars fans. It, yep. it, 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 there's just so much there. I mean, that is the typical hero's journey. It's it. It, it. I mean, it's the one that put a fine point on it cinematically because Lucas just said with no you know, questions. Yeah, I, I pulled from Campbell and Campbell was right. And it, it opened the door for all of us. So we'll explore more of that later. Great job, Amy. See you on the next dose. Okay. <laughs>